think what's happening is that because there are more and more people dealing with Alzheimer's, it's, it's truly becoming a global epidemic. There's a real need for point people that family caregivers can turn to. Care managers and dementia coaches, patient advocates each play a slightly different role, but each one of them can help a caregiver navigate this whole health system or what purports to be a health system. Um, patient advocate, for example, can really help with the navigation in a hospital or help with things like long distance physician visits and really be there for the person with Alzheimer's to make sure that he or she gets the services at that time to ask the questions if a family caregiver can't be there, for example. Uh, the person with Alzheimer's may not know to ask the question, may not be able to ask the question. A patient advocate can accompany a person to a physician appointment, for example, and speak up. Uh, but their, their role is a little more limited in really navigating doctor visits or getting the person through a hospital visit or something along that line. And that's where most people who may be familiar with the term patient advocate have experienced them is perhaps in a hospital. And it goes beyond that mom doesn't like the food. It's is she getting the rehab she needs? Are the meds being reconciled? Um, is she being treated appropriately for her condition? And very often in a hospital setting, for example, people may not be aware that the, the person has Alzheimer's because it may be early onset. They may just appear a little confused. So it's very important to get somebody in there that can speak up on the patient's behalf and say, you need to talk to me and you need to explain this and you need to reassure this person because they do have this disease and you can't treat them the same way you treat a 35 year old who doesn't have it. A care manager is, is a more comprehensive role and does just what it, it sounds like. It, he or she is responsible for the broader based care and for helping the family navigate the entire process. And it could be anything from finding a nurse practitioner in the community, if that's what the person desires, to making recommendations for respite care or assisted living facilities or anything along that line. Um, and also putting the person in touch with social supports or uh, community groups that might be able to help out with care. Care managers are often nurses or social workers who have taken on this broader role, it, it almost falls to them naturally that instead of just managing one aspect of the person's care, they, they tend to take on the, the broader component. And from the people I spoke with, that can really be a lifesaver uh, when it comes to managing care long distance. Because you need somebody that can be on top of it when you can't be, when you can't be there, or if you're working or you're juggling other responsibilities. So by having a care manager who knows what's happening on the ground, um, it really can, can bring the caregiver a lot of peace of mind.